So I really love the capillary schedule. It just keeps me so organized. I've been alternating between store-bought masks and DIYs and today I thought that I would do a hybrid where I mix some aloe juice and rose water to just one of my favorite masks so you get a little bit of the hydration and you're getting a little bit of DIY. Oh, that's my timer. It is time for me to do my scalp massage. So my hair routine is based on my favorite YouTubers and content creators. And so I've been using the Nate Life Herbal Shampoo and Herbal Conditioner. And I've also been using the Kalia Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. So I just love supporting those that I love, whether it's using their discount codes and trying their methods. And it's the best feeling when they give me a heart on YouTube. Sometimes it makes me cry or, oh my God, or if they follow back on Instagram or share me in their stories. Oh my goodness. I just love that love. And I just love to support those that I love. So I'm a really results driven kind of person and so I follow the PEH balance because it is a bit of a schedule but it also delivers the best results between protein and malians hydration. Additionally, I like to do a hair rinse every week and I make sure to write it down and I always rotate lavender, rosemary, chamomile. And I also, when I'm looking at products, I only buy five star products and just products that are gonna give me the best results. Well, hey guys, so it's really important for me to do what works for my hair, but also not to follow trends. So I was so happy when I discovered Aqua Blue because it's the best brand that no one's heard of and it works so well for my hair. Additionally, I'm a huge fan of hair rinses. It just leaves my hair feeling soft and shiny and I just did a really good rinse and I used kombucha and so my next rinse I'm going to do some espresso and IPA and I really want to get my information out there I just feel like YouTube is way too mainstream and so I want to do some spoken word on my harp and release on vinyl so keep on the lookout for that guys pardon me but what do you mean by natural fragrance Okay, so you don't know either. Well, thank you for your time. So that was another company I just got off the phone with. They don't know what natural fragrance is. Furthermore, so many of these shampoo and conditioners, they're not pH balanced. And so I've been researching for weeks and weeks and weeks upon weeks. And I've just come to the conclusion that I don't trust a lot of these companies. They're either run by Big Pharma or the Illuminati. And so I'm gonna try this no poo method and just wash my hair with apple cider vinegar. Let's see how it goes. But I just need to check a couple more things and I will get back to you. So the first natural hair company I ever found was Avalon Organics. And oh man, I'm not switching. I'm using this to the day I die. I mean, I just feel like my routine's so simple. I just use this, I love it so much. And you know, I know people say, well, why don't you try something new? But you know, it's my baby. I've been using it forever. I can, it's like cheating on a boyfriend. You just cherish it. Well, hey, what's up my dudes? So my hair care routine is so simple. I was using the Morocco Method shampoo bar, conditioner bar, and I ran out and I found this totally gnarly shampoo, body, conditioner, all in one at some farmer's market. I think it was like in Colorado. Yeah, because I was snowboarding there. You know, I'm kind of in between seasons, gonna do some snowboarding, and then I got some skating this summer, a little bit of surfing. Yeah, so life is too short to be confined to a complex routine. All you need is this bar. Naturally who? Yeah, I'm sure she's a doll. I just don't have time for YouTube. Honestly, my hair routine is quite simple. I just get it washed in a salon once a week. Jennifer works her magic. I really can't think of the last time I washed my own hair. One more thing, Sylvia. I'm going to have to ask you to get me another latte. I asked for two-thirds soy and one-third almond milk. This tastes like it's two-thirds almond milk. Okay? Well, 
hey guys, so I like to use things that are natural and that just raise my frequency. So these are some of my favorites and I'm using a little love from every brand because there's no right or wrong, you know, there's no competition, whatever you do guys. But the one tip I will say is just be kind to our animal friends. So even if you use silicones and sulfates, just make sure to get cruelty free and just do what's gonna put you in the best mood and what's gonna give you the highest energy. And as always guys, thank you for watching. Peace, love, and long hair.